Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com Today we're gonna do some grilled jalapeno poppers Bring a grown man to his knees This is a perfect recipe for that tailgating backyard party Man, that look good or what? There ain't no cream cheese here all right, this is real easy to do. And all you need here is some fresh jalapenos, and you want to get them as uh, big as you can because we're going to stuff these up. And you want a little bit of onion, you want some grated cheese, and uh, a couple of toothpicks. I'll show you what to do with those, and then you want to get yourself some bacon. All right, let's get started here. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to open these uh, jalapenos up and what you do is you just slice uh, the edge of that jalapeno so we can get in there and, uh, and scrape out some of that jalapeno white meat and those seeds. Now you can use a blunt end of a spoon here or whatever you got. You just want to scrape out some of those seeds and uh, and the white meat. Now the white meat in these jalapenos, that's where all your heat is. It's not so much in the seeds, but it's in that that uh, white meat that's found inside. So uh, we're gonna scrape some of that out. And we're gonna add it to our uh, cheese stuff in here. It's pretty simple to do. If you've never done it before, I'll give you some real close-up shots here of what you're dealing with. Now, you don't want to put all that white meat in your bowl. Uh, that'll give you third-degree burns if you're not careful. But, uh, but then again, that's why we like these jalapeno poppers. Again, just uh, slice it. You can see all that white meat there. You see them seeds. Well, you get uh, you get them seeds out of there because you don't need the seeds. But it's that white meat right there. That, there's your heat, and that's uh, that's what you want to put back in your old uh, stuffing bowl there. Now the uh, Moved it right along here, and I'm just chopping up the, uh, the sliced off pieces there and mincing them up good because we're going to throw them right in that, uh, that cheese stuff in there. All right. And I got those uh, minced onions there. I just cut them up, throw them in. And here I've got some uh, shredded Romano cheese. Now, uh, I like Romano because it uh, complements the heat. It's got a good... Uh, Good sharp taste to it. Now, if you can't get Romano, then uh, use a sharp cheddar cheese or one of your favorite cheeses. It's probably uh, the sharper the better because you need to complement all that heat. Here I've got some jack cheese. Throw some of that in there. Just use your imagination. All right. Just mix it up real good. No, uh, none of that cream cheese in this uh, recipe here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Betty Crocker thing, but uh, here we like to real use some real cheese. All right, now we're getting ready to stuff these uh, poppers, and what we want to do here is grab some bacon here. So uh, you can use a. Uh, regular thin sliced bacon or even a thick cut it's up to you but a basic cut of bacon will really work good and we're gonna cut these pieces in half because that's all we need is just uh, half a slice per uh, jalapeno here all right let's uh, let's stuff these up just stuff them pretty tight Yeah, 
take one of those half slices of bacon there and just uh, just wrap it around. You don't need any of those toothpicks. This will hold on real fine. And we uh, got that charcoal grill going and we got the charcoal on one side, that indirect heating. And you want to put your jalapenos on the opposite side of those coals. getting hungry already. Pretty simple now, isn't it? Now you're gonna wanna make a bunch of these uh, because uh, these uh, jalapeno poppers will attract the crowd. And, and if you're not careful, you won't have any left for the uh, barbecue chef. So uh, make a bunch of them up. All right, moved it right along here. We've got our jalapenos uh, opposite the uh, charcoal. It only takes about uh, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. All right, these are ready to do. Now, uh, I've cooked some, uh, some chorizo and some brats right along with these jalapenos. You just, uh, just add to that little tailgating party and take a look at that, man. That looks good or what? All right. That bacon is nice and crisped up. Cheese is melting. It's time to eat. Now I'm going I'm to take some of this uh, hot sausage here and I'm going to cut them up into little bite-sized pieces. And uh, this is what I use the toothpicks for. Good hot sausage goes with these uh, jalapeno poppers here. And then I, then I got, some, got some rolls there I'm just going to toast up. And now we'll put these uh, jalapenos uh, on a plate. Man, you smell that? It smells good. Nice crisp bacon. Wrapped over these uh, tender jalapenos that are stuffed with mono and jack cheese. In fact, let me, uh, let me grab a couple of these brats here. I'm just going to make a plate full of good eating. Take a little bit more of that cheese stuffing mix, put it on a brat, and maybe this brat's just some mustard. You know all about that. All right. Does that look good or what? In fact, uh, let me uh, cut one of these poppers up for you. Look at that cheese all melted, crispy bacon. Man, eating don't get any better than that. As a matter of fact, let me... Mm -hmm. Man, if you're looking for some good jalapeno poppers, check out barbecuepitboys.com.